that you're going to center your health and your wellness and that you are going to rest, you have then decided that you will not be a part of a system that continues to oppress you and profits from your oppression. The, the burden of, of um, trying to, to make sure that you're educating children in an unjust system while also navigating your own oppression. Okay, so my, if my worth is not my work, then what is it? Just that I'm black and beautiful in here is enough. And I, I have this little, this little ring to remind myself <laughs> to rest um, because it's actually, it's an act of resistance. Rest is, is black women empowering themselves to be the, the best that they can be for themselves to take care of others. Um, to be able to do that work with 10 dynamic uh, black women principals in charters and public schools in Detroit um, who are working on being their best selves. And as much as I'm helping them, they're helping me because I still have all of those pressures that they're experiencing and I'm trying to navigate them and we're learning together how to do that. And so that work um, was a gift from Gilman to me. Hey, I'm Mayowa Lisa Reynolds, Dr. Reynolds, Mama Mayowa, depending on where you know me from. I'm a principal at Detroit School of Arts in Detroit Public Schools Community District. And Dr. Rima is a facilitator, creator, developer of the program, and she supervises our growth. First of all, it helped by centering uh, the wellness of black women, specifically black women principals. We have sessions, we deconstruct uh, white supremacy in spaces of leadership that even though we're in a black majority city and most of our students are black and we're black, uh, we can still participate in the structures of white supremacy. So in addition to our wellness, we have to examine where we are within that structure. We are the workhorses, right? And that we pride ourselves in working ourselves to death. For us to do something well that we're not well. I mean, this has changed my life. It's opened my eyes and helped me re-examine my place um, in my school community and it helped me to reprioritize my wellness. So I have core values around education, which I think is liberation, right? I think of freedom as the highest ideal um, and above freedom is only love. Next year, I would love to see more leaders take a part. I would love to expand the reach, um, reaching out to more schools, uh, more school leaders, sharing this experience. I think we've kind of been in a box, kind of in the, in the background. Um, so I would love to, for others uh, within our city, state, um, as far as we can take it to know about this particular experience, to know about the things that are happening, how transformative it is, um, because I think it has, um, for me, lifted not just just uh, my mental, but my physical, my emotional, the spiritual, and so I would love to see that expanded. So I've just, I've just been with the young ladies, as we always do, just learning and growing and bonding is important, just for self-development. So I think this program really allows us to do that and feed from each other, then, you know, as we always do, but at the same time, be solution-driven, so thank you for that. And so just growing and understanding that you need the time to be able to care for yourself. Because if you don't care for yourself, you cannot care adequately for anyone else. I also appreciate all of the women because it has bonded us together. It's a different kind of connection, um, but this one is different to me because it's professional as well as personal. Sometimes you only get the professional or you only get the personal, whereas this one, you have a sisterhood who understands. What has done for me personally, I'm out here, right? Just as, as free as I can be, authentic as I can be, um, and it feels so good. So I'm gonna get the, the shirt with the goddess and, and you gotta make a different decision, all of that. Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember that was the reason why we all came together in this, is to learn how to say no to everything else and say yes to me. Being able to say yes to rest and what that rest looked like. Bringing in a new cohort and sharing this down and passing it down so that all of our studies become irrelevant at some point um, because we won't have people on the burnout. Because they've come in and they've learned how to, from the beginning, starting out as leaders on how to take care of themselves. So they never experience the trauma we have. Time I'll take one look at you.
Yeah, with the singing. <laughs> for me is when I think about like all of the leadership theories and conversations that we have, none of them ever mention joy, wellness, love. You don't see those words, yet you're left with building, you're left with the job of building community, of loving on people with no tools, no strategies, no insight, no time to do that for yourself. Really believe that in doing this, we can change schools for real. What I've learned about myself is how free I am allows other people to be as free. If, if my freedom can then allow other people to be free, then I need to be as free as I can. And that you all talked about in different ways, inhibitions dropping, freedom. You all are my present and I am so grateful to be as what you do.